What is up guys? We're back again for our YouTube series and this week we're going to do a highlight on AJ's Bronco. He is the owner of 4X More Bronco on Instagram. He runs all these cool events, takes the Broncos out on trails, you name it. The guy himself is a legend. He's awesome to work with, such a good guy. Give him a follow. And he's got the coolest Bronco in town. So I'm going to take you through this build, show you what we have on it. So stay tuned. First and foremost, we have our Bronco Ram Air hood, which was the fiberglass version, so it started as a white hood. If you guys wanna see some content on how we built it, make sure to check out the video. We'll send a link of right here. The Ram Air hood is such a focal point on all the Bronco builds we do. Any Bronco build with or without the fenders, the Ram Air hood always looks in place. Another awesome part of the build is our five inch kit. So he's got the five inch fenders, five inch liners, five inch rear kit and five inch rear liners as well. He was the very first donor truck. So when we finished CNC machining, making the tooling and making the first set of parts, AJ was the awesome guy that actually brought it into us so we can test fit it and approve it for production. It went super smooth and since then, he has put so much abuse on these fenders. He actually put all the vehicle's weight on the fender right here. He did scratch the paint up, but the fender is so strong. Imagine the weight of the Bronco being pushed against a rock and the fender is still in perfect shape. That's how strong our products are. It's amazing. So fenders right here, the fender liner is down on the bottom right here. It is a very common question. Some guys, some gals, they don't know what the liner is. Liner, splash guard, same exact thing. We create a custom liner that fits inside the fender specifically for our five inch kit. The factory liners don't reach. You have to keep in mind, the factory fender is considered a zero inch flare. So it ends somewhere around this area right here and it comes straight down. So you have a few inches that are gonna be basically exposed this liner fixes that issue. So we do recommend it, especially for the front end. If you don't run the liner, you can see everything in the engine bay area. If you actually use your Bronco for off-roading, that is dangerous. That's why we highly recommend getting the fender liner. The cool thing about the liner, it's a very easy installation process. We add inserts to the backside of the fiberglass laminate. So what that means is the liner will sit up on the lip right here and we just run a simple bolt to tie it down and fasten it to the fender. It's a super easy and seamless install. We take pride in that. No other manufacturer does it as easy and as simple and as clean and as detailed as we do. We're actually gonna switch sides of the vehicle because I wanna focus on the rear quarter kit and talk about the gas pod and gas door section itself. So the rear quarter kit consists of the door cap, rear quarter panel, and the rear bumper trim back here. So it's three pieces per side. The kit is a six pieces total, three and three. To go over it, the door cap itself has a splash of the door right here. So we actually have the mounting section of that on the back side of the cap. So when you're installing this, all you gotta do, run some double-sided tape and press it against the door. That way it sticks all across the door. Super easy install process. The rear quarter panel, very, very easy process as well. You have bolting sections up here in the door section and right down here as well. So install the rear quarter panel, install the door cap, install the rear bumper trim. The bumper trim also is held on by double-sided tape. We recommend running an insert and a bolt from the quarter panel to the actual rear bumper trim as well. And last but not least, we have the liner underneath as well. The factory ones do not reach, same concept as the front end. So we do recommend getting the liners. It makes it look like it's an OEM solution. It looks super clean. If you run no liners to each their own, but in my opinion, that just completes the package for a minimal cost. And this gas door and gas pod, this was a tricky, tricky part. We'll zoom in in a second, but you'll see as we open it, it gets so close to the panel. Because this panel is so short, it doesn't give us a whole lot of room to transition to the flare size. So we pull out the actual panel right here about three quarters to an inch. So there's about an inch of a body bulge. The rest goes into this flare right here. But because we change the location and position of this area, we still wanna retain the factory location so the filler neck can reach, which we did. So by doing that, we keep this entire opening factory location, add this cool detail right here with the kind of a swoop that comes down. That way when it opens, it still clears perfectly across there. 
That's a cool detail. That took us a month to design properly. It was just back and forth, back and forth, making sure the detail looked nice. And most importantly, the gas door opens fully. All right, and most importantly, this has been one of the beta users for the hardtop. As you guys can see, he's running the modular black textured top. So you have two pieces that are removable up front and you have the main roof portion back here. He has put this thing through its paces. I mean, he's taken this Bronco everywhere and the hardtop has not skipped a beat. It is very, very strong. It's quiet inside, leak resistant, which is awesome as well. So he is a true test and testament of the quality of our hardtop. And you guys can shoot him a message for yourself. He'll give you the same exact answer. AJ's an awesome guy. He does not beat around the bush. So send him a message. All right, enough about our products. Now let's focus on what other parts he's running on the build. We have a lot on his vehicle. The runner up for the next most parts on the truck is definitely SVC Off-Road. Uh, Jarrett, the owner, and Jeff are the coolest guys around. Check out their brand. They build some killer products, bumpers, upper control arms, full long travel packages. They, uh, they specialize heavily in the Raptor market. They are doing quite a bit for the Bronco market as well. But as you guys can see, they got the front bumper from SVC right here. He's got the upper control arms over here. And he's also got these side steps over here too. They are bulletproof. AJ has put this thing through its paces with those side steps, all the weight in the side of there as well. And they don't skip a beat at all. It's awesome. They build the strongest products out there. Uh, up next, we obviously have King Shocks. That's a industry name. You guys definitely know that company. It's connected to an SDI up front as well, which is super cool. One of my favorite wheel brands, they're running 1552s, 17 inch wheels with 37 inch tires. That's the perfect combination for our five inch kit. 37s with the five inch kit, fills it out amazingly. We designed the five inch kit and our two and our eight inch kit also around 37. So that's exactly what we recommend. You can run 35s, they still look phenomenal, but the 37s fill up the wheel well a lot more and it looks super, super clean. He's got a winch up front, and he's also got the KC highlights up here. You know what's super cool about these is that that bar reminds me of like the old school pre-runner look. It's totally different. I don't see that very often, so I do appreciate that, that retro look on his Bronco. But that kind of wraps up the build right here. AJ's on vacation, otherwise he would have taken you guys through the entire build process. Thank you for letting me your vehicle, AJ. It was a pleasure, and stay tuned for the next video.